Welcome back to Rapid Reviews. Here is a very casual, very quick chat about my collection. I've been building this up now for probably a year and a half, two years. We have some Japanese Nakiri knives, some Japanese Chinese cleaver, vegetable cleaver style knives. We have some traditional bone chopping cleavers there. This one is a German brand, if I'm not mistaken. We have some more Chinese vegetable slices and general purpose cleavers from Lung Tim. Down here we have another Lung Tim uh, thin vegetable slicer of a large scale. We have a Dexter sort of mid-range general cleaver. We have a Chanchi Key heavy duty carbon steel bone chopper, a Kao Kong chopper from Chanchi Key, which is more or less uh, on the smaller side. Uh, we have four of my favorite small stainless steel slices from Chanchi Key. I'll put all of the uh, part numbers in the description when I get a chance. Fortunately, my Chanchi Key cleavers all have the original stamp markings, which is quite nice, as opposed to the new ones that have the laser etched markings. It really makes no difference whatsoever to the performance, but I do think it looks a bit cooler. Um, out of all of these, I would have to say the cleavers that I use on a daily basis, my go-to are these two here, the Chanchi Key uh, small vegetable slices, stainless steel. I definitely prefer stainless steel. I definitely prefer Chanchi Key to Lung Tim. Lung Tim are a little bit cheaper. They are, I would say, fairly good quality knives, but I've found them to be just a little bit inconsistent in terms of quality, build quality, etc., etc. But again, they are cheaper. They are seemingly more accessible. Certainly where I live, CCK is very hard to come by. Um, but really, when I think about the Shun Cleaver, these other Japanese cleavers, which are much more high-end, much more exotic, uh, probably a little bit sharper if, if, I, if I'm honest uh, you can get them sharper that is um, they're just a little bit delicate a little bit fragile kind of like I would compare them to the exotic sports car that you take out for a drive on a Sunday afternoon whereas the Chunchi Key range for me at least uh, in terms of daily slicing and uh, light chopping these are my go-to knives they are affordable they're low maintenance, they're, I would say, fairly easy to sharpen. They probably don't retain their edge as long as some of the harder Japanese blades, but at the same time, I believe they're stronger. I'm so impressed with this smaller one here, which I believe is the number three, which is the smallest in the small slicer range. Again, I'll put the numbers in the description. I've basically set myself up, hopefully, for life uh, with this particular knife. Um, I, I intend to use this every day for as long as I can and even get my kids using them. I love them so much. I've steered away from the wide range of European knives where you, you use multiple knives in a day. I'm trying my very best to become like a Chinese chef and try and utilize just one slicing cleaver and very occasionally maybe something a bit heavier for chopping if I do some roast pork or duck or what have you. I can use these guys, but just for everyday use, the Chun Chi Key. All of these knives are very good. These Nakiris up here, the one on the right was very expensive. It was six or seven hundred dollars. Um, I'll put all of the names from top left to right, and then from bottom right to left. I'll put them all in the description when I get the chance. But um, really, in terms of everyday use, I, I just I know I've said it before, but I just don't think you can go past Chunchi Key. These Japanese knives, the Nakiri, the style of the knife for me. I find I've, I liked it for quite a while, but now that I've got more uh, more size on the blade, I have that slicing, chopping, and scooping capability that I just don't have on the Nakiri. If I chop up a whole cabbage or large amounts of vegetables, I can very easily scoop them up, scoop them up, and slice them with ease with these guys. And of course, I can do that too. In fairness, with the Lung Tim, uh, this all stainless steel cleaver. I find a little bit slippery on the handle, so I often just wrap a piece of paper towel around it, which I replace 
fairly often. Um, that's very, very sharp and was was very affordable. That was only like about $80, so I really can't complain. The Dexter, it's, there's just something about this one. It's a great knife. It's hard wearing. It's very useful, but I just don't like it as much. I don't know why. It just, it just doesn't feel as comfortable to me as these guys. These are light. They're very effective, very affordable, and easy to manage. I'm going to say a hell of a lot more about all of these and make future videos, um, but I suppose if I was to summarize this discussion, you don't have to spend lots of money. You don't have to buy high-end products to have very enjoyable, very very effective tools. Um, I, I've found that in terms of cleavers, uh, with knives it was a bit different, but in terms of cleavers and nakiri and all of the, this style of these rectangular sort of blades, and forgive me, I'm not a knife nerd, I, I, I'm just an amateur home cook. But uh, in terms of bang for buck, enjoyment, functionality, everything like that, these guys here, you can't go past them. And I'll have a lot more to say in a future video, but this is just sharing some thoughts today. Um, this is a very basic overview. And as I say, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think.